Hi, welcome to Simple Scuba. This is the Liquid Vision Zio. It's a full decompression computer from all, for all levels of, of diver, for everything from um, entry level recreational to technical and closed circuit rebreathers. So it does everything. Some things are add ons, so like the closed circuit, you can buy an extra pin number and you can activate that portion of the dive computer. You can also um, change the uh, decompression modelling. Um, obviously more advanced features like that, that you can obviously download and install onto the computer. So now we have the screen, so it's really, really bright, very, very clear. It can be seen in all sort of circumstances, even if you've got a whiteout and you can't see anything, the computer is still visible through the gloom. Uses no push buttons, so there's no point of failure on those points. Uh, use a very intuitive tap system. We'll run through uh, the menus to show you what it uh, looks like as you go through, um, how the LED uh, screen works, how bright it is, and also show you some of the dive simulations. So Liquid Revision Zeo is everything from entry level recreational to closed circuit rebreather. Also some of the features you will need um, additional pin numbers for just to activate those sections. Um, but it will do uh, trimix, uh, can handle up to 10 gases, um, all based on this one system. You can also change the uh, decompression models uh, just by downloading them from uh, the Liquidvision site and installing them through the PC interface. So you change the batteries, so literally unscrewed under this cap, change the battery, put a new one in, put the cap back on, literally no tools required, you can just do it with your thumb if you want to. No buttons involved, so it uses the intuitive tap system. Obviously it's water activated, so if you uh, jump in, it will turn itself on. But if you want to get at the menus beforehand, literally tapping on the top three times will turn it on. You entered into this uh, just stat sort of status menu, um, screen. You will not, might notice some flickering on the numbers and letters as I move it around, but that's just the way the camera picks it up, so it won't do that in real life. So here it's saying, Ready to dive also tells you what it's currently set at. So you've got open circuit and it's using air. We'll also display the current time and the battery status. To get out of the menus, literally tap on the top three times again and you're into the menu system. From here, it's up or down using taps and then select is either side. So if I move down the menus, you can see, you see as I'm tapping, that little selection is moving through the menu. If you get to one you want, leave it highlighted and then tap either side on the screen. We'll drill down deeper into that menu. And here again, you can change each one using it up and down to highlight. Tapping left or right, move it over to the settings and you can tap up or down to change it. Tapping on the side again will save that setting. So it's very, very quick and easy to change pretty much anything on the computer. Plenty of options in here to configure it for you. If I hover over the colours, select it, in here is basically all of the options for the colours for the screen. So if there's a particular thing you want to change, like you want to change the current depth colour to a yellow, highlight it, move over, and you can just scroll through, so there's a yellow there, select it just by tapping on the side. So next time you run the computer or go into the dive mode, the current depth will be in that color. So you can change all of these and there are loads. Every single one of these can be color, color changed. If you don't like, if you change loads and you don't like the way it looks in the end, you can return it back to a default. Hover over exit and tap will take you back one step. I'm just going to show you the dive simulation. I'm just going to leave everything as it is. You've got a 48 minute, um, that's a 48 metre bottom time, five minutes, and it's going to run at four times normal speed. So you see, I changed the, the numbers for the current depth. So you can change the little m feet, um, metric uh, individually. So I've changed it to yellow, so you can see it's yellow for this run. We've got the current dive time in the top right. You can change the way it shows as well. Currently it's set as uh, full minutes only. And then you've got this bar graph to sort of indicate 
how far through that minute you are. You can change that little bar graph back to seconds. Again, it's a very simple operation. Maximum depth, top left. We've gone into uh, stop information, so it's saying stop at six, at six meters for currently two minutes. Current depth, also showing what your current um, gas uh, option is. So we're in open circuit with air. Also got battery status and the temperature. So this is only running for five minutes, so uh, as it reaches five minutes, it will um, start to ascend. So start the ascent, and it will run through all those stops if you want to. Obviously, I don't want to wait that long, so I'm just going to end the, the uh, simulation. Tap on the top, in the menu system, move down to stop, select, and then you're back out. Move up to uh, dive planning, I'll quickly show you dive planning. This is where you can basically set the, the, the gases, uh, the modes, things like that. So move over and you can basically switch between the different options, so gauge or deco. In setup, we can change how the unit will work. So it's currently an open circuit. If you had the uh, rebreather option, you could select it here. Also, this one is still locked for um, rebreathers. Gases, so you add your different gases here, up to 10 gases in any sort of configuration. Literally hover over add, go through the menu to set up your gas and it's saved. So loads of choices in there, deco settings, again, adjust your PO2s, things like that. Gives, also gives you current saturation level. Obviously this computer hasn't been dived for a little while, so there's no, none left on there. But we'll give you all that information in one quick press. Again, there's another um, way to get in the simulation dive. Dive logs, everything, there's none shown on this one, it's been cleared off. But this is where you would see your normal logs. You can go into each one, it will obviously show you your uh, maximum depth, time, temperature, normal sort of things, but it'll also show a nice um, sort of depth graph. So it's displayed on the screen in quite high detail. Display settings we've been through, preferences is really about the um, units, tap sensitivity, tap count, so you can change if you don't like how sensitive it is, so if you're accidentally turning it on or into the menus, you can turn the sensitivity down, you just have to tap it a little bit harder. Or you can increase the count, so it's either got an option of three or five taps to activate the system. And then you've got battery statuses, types, um, enter the pins for your uh, rebreather uh, option. Fresh or salt, adjust the time and date, you can also connect it up to a PC, obviously to transfer all the information. So a very, very feature rich, very versatile computer as it takes everything from entry level all the way up through the technical um, diving. That's the Liquid Vision Zero.